deadly police-involved shooting. An officer opened up fire on a man in a black BMW SUV after a short police chase. We still don't know why or how all of this unfolded. That's still under investigation. But new tonight, WBZ spoke with witnesses who saw the whole chase unfold. And Jim Smith is tracking the story tonight for us in the Satellite Center. Jim? Well, Paula, tonight investigators are being very tight-lipped about this case. In fact, they say the man who was killed has not even been identified yet. New Hampshire State Police and local officers work into the night trying to put the pieces together, investigating the shooting death of a suspect pursued by police on a quiet stretch of Route 136 in Peterborough. That suspect was shot and killed after the chase, a chase that ended with a confrontation of some type. It was a result of a brief pursuit that occurred. Uh, the individual who was killed was out of his vehicle. He was shot and killed uh, by a police officer out there. A gun could be seen in the road, a police cruiser, and another vehicle in some bushes, a tent covering the body in the road. The crime lab was on the scene as investigators took measurements. One witness says she saw a Greenfield, New Hampshire cruiser chasing the suspect vehicle with other departments joining in. The vehicle that was pursuing him was right on his bumper to get him to stop, and he would not stop. The policeman that was in the road was looking at the situation as to what was going on and uh, left shortly thereafter to follow in pursuit as well. Authorities are now looking into the suspect's activities in recent days and whether he had any interactions with police. We're looking at the last 24 to 48 hours to try and figure out exactly what was going on with this individual. So it, it may be that what happened is a result of something more than just what happened today. But that's what we're looking into. And no police officers were hurt during the chase or the shooting. An autopsy will now be conducted on the man who was killed as this investigation continues. Live in the Satellite Center, Jim Smith, WBC News. Jim, thank you. A